Hi there, and welcome back once again to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and today we're going to be answering the strange question, do plants have feelings? And to do this, we're going to be using the M5 Stack avatar library made by Shinya Ishikawa, a user of M5 Stack. It has these cute avatar faces. And we're also going to be using the module, uh, the, the moisture uh, unit from our kit and some Lego pieces to attach it all together. So let's get started in attaching all the pieces together. First, we'll start by attaching a Lego piece to the back of the M5 to use as a bracket. Then we can pop two of the small Lego pieces into the holes to affix our moisture sensor. And then lastly, we'll attach the cable. Plug it into port B, the black colored port on the top of the M5. Okay, now let's get to coding. This time, we're going to be using M5 with the Arduino IDE. If you've never used your M5 with the IDE before, make sure that you follow the Getting Started guide posted in the links below. Okay, first let's start by opening the Arduino IDE. First, we want to make sure that our M5 board is selected in the Boards menu. We can choose M5 Stack Core ESP32 or M5 Stack Fire and then we can check the port on the Mac. The port should look something like this. If you're on Windows, it'll be either COM1, COM2, COM3. We're going to need to install the M5 Stack Avatar Library. To do this, we'll go into Sketch and then choose Include Library and then Manage Libraries. Once the sources have been loaded, we need to search for M5 Stack Avatar. This is a great little library that allows us to show some expressive, cute faces on the screen of RM5. Click on More Info and then click Install to install the library. Once the library is installed, we're going to go into Examples and choose the Face and Color example. We're going to be using this example as a base for our program. This program is intended to get feedback from the buttons and change the expressions and colors of the screen along with different styles of faces. But we're just going to be using the basic expressions functions. So to begin with, we're going to start by stripping some unnecessary functions. Here we have an index of the different expressions from the M5 Stack Avatar library which we'll be using later in the program. Since we aren't going to be changing color or showing any QR codes on the screen, we can also delete these two lines of code. Now inside the setup function, we can get rid of these other face and color palette functions as we're not going to be using them either. This last line in setup will be setting it to show a particular expression when the M5 starts up. This IDX variable stands for the position in the array that we're going to be calling our expressions from. The first position being 0, then 1, 2, 3 and so on. And we'll set this to 0 which refers to the angry face because our plant is angry for its lack of water. Okay, now let's move on to the main loop. First we have the M5 update function, which makes sure that the screen will be updated whenever the conditions are met in each if statement. These if statements have been programmed so that if a button is pressed, then something will happen. We want the expressions to change based on sensory input. But first, let's try and test our sensor 
to make sure it's working. Now we'll set a variable called ADC, which will be collecting the data from the sensor with the analog read command. And because our sensor will be connected to pin 36, we need to put pin 36 inside these brackets. Now in order to see that data coming in on the serial console, we'll set this line serial print line, then use the variable ADC to print its contents to the console. Then we'll set a delay so it's easier to read the sensory data. Upload. Oops, there was an error because I forgot to delete these commands linked to the faces functions which we already deleted. Let's just clear them out and then we should be able to upload fine. Okay, now let's upload again. Once we've uploaded, click on the serial monitor. You'll notice that we're getting a weird readout that doesn't make any sense. This is because the board rate is set wrong. We must change the board rate to 115200. And now we can see the value coming from our sensor. But the number is way too high, and I want my sensor to start from zero if it doesn't contact the water up until 255. So I'm going to use the map command to do that. First we add our variable, then the high number that we got through the serial monitor to the low number, and then the new values that we want to map it to. Now that's done, we can go about defining our if conditions. So if my value from my sensor is less than 5, then I want to set the expression to be unhappy, which is the third index in the array expressions. So I'll put 3. Now once we start to add more water, I want the plant to cheer up. So if my value goes above, let's say above 10, but maybe I want to add more expressions later. So I'm going to add less than 40. So then if I want to add another expression after the moisture level is higher than 40, I can add an extra if condition with a higher value range. For this value range, I'm going to set the index to 2 so that our plant shows a happy face when he's full up with water. Now let's compile and upload the sketch. Oops, there was an error simply because I made a typo. I should have not used a curly brace in these two lines, I should have used a straight bracket. So let's go back and change that, and then upload again. Okay, now that's uploaded successfully, let's test it out. Gently pouring the water inside, being careful to avoid any water going inside to the M5 or the sensor, we can see how once the moisture percentage rises, our expression will change to a happy one. And there we have it. Now we can see how our plants are feeling. This is a good use of the moisture sensor to monitor how well your plants are doing and whether they need water or not. Maybe you can think of some other ways that we can use the moisture sensor. Please leave your ideas down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.